Reaction time, man. Hey, Kamusta Kayo. Kai, Kayo, Kayo. Kamusta Kayo. I don't know, man. I don't know. Am I gonna learn Tagalog? Probably, you know, not. But I will. I'll try. Okay, so here's one from today. Mungandan Tahali. Mungandan Tahali. Which supposedly means like good lunchtime. But also means good afternoon. Is that. I mean, how would I know? Mungandan. Mungandan is beautiful, right? That's as far as I'm getting. I'll probably repeat those same three words for the next, I don't know, two or three years. This is the song which looks like, oh, there's chapter marks. It looks like it's Tell Me You Love Me. It's a cover, right? Is it a cover? Love you guys. Love yourself. Do you have a cat? Pet your cat. Okay, okay, I don't, I think it's a cut. She, I think she said, I remember her saying, the last video was from like four days ago or something. I think she said it's a cover, right? But I don't, I don't know this song. Hey. Okay, all right, all right, I, I, I'm, I am very much like, I mean, my favorite from her so, so far is the Bruno Mars melody, um, but outside of the Bruno Mars thing, I'm liking the band and her, I'm really liking the band. I already like her, I already love her, but the band in this live setting is really showcasing that they're, they can play together and it's nice, it's nice. Every, this is, I actually like that this is real footage. Um, this is what it looks like typically when you're starting a set. I mean, unless you're like, you know, you do the, you, you make the biggest bangers of all time. This is actually what you're, if you have a packed house, this is what you're looking at. If it's not packed, it's just less of the same thing. And you're like, everyone's going crazy. Not a having their drinks, maybe they're eating something, they're on their phone. I think it's a really great shot of what an actual audience looks like. Hell yeah. She sounds incredible. Incredible in this, it's like, this rawness, anyone, anyone, I think anyone can sound great in a studio. Sounding great live is a, that's another beast.
Oh, you hear that unison? So there was a call and response in the guitar segment go. But I was already talking too much, so I didn't want to mention that. But right there, he just did this unison bend. Uh, unison bend is where you, you play a, a note on one, you play a note on two strings. You bend the other string up to match the first note. So you did a unison bend, and then Morissette sang the same note. So you ended up with three versions of the same note. Check it out. <laughs> Right there. Nice. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, you probably wouldn't have noticed this in the video, but we're gonna tag back into it. Cause I'm trying to look at everything, right? I'm trying to look at all the band members and look at the crowd shot. So let's see if I can catch it right as it happens. There's gonna be an overhead shot of the crowd. We're not going back to the last overhead shot. Check this out, if I can time it just right. Boom. Uh, on your screen, your bottom corner down here, there is a lady uh, with dyed blonde hair that's curving over. And on every single overhead shot, her back is to the crowd. And she's either eating food, and at one time it looks like she's talking to a server and handing like some money. I could be misinterpreting that, but her back is to Morissette. And then if you if you can see right now, hopefully you can, maybe hope, hopefully in post I'll make this bigger. You'll see her head snap around, but her head's not, her head has always been to the back of the stage, watch. Boom, right there, her head turns. Let's do it one more time. Head. Head is not looking at the stage. Stage is over there. We're looking that way. Look around. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna have fun with this. I don't know. You'll let me know if you have fun with this. But I just... I don't know the last time I played where they serve food. That's a whole nother thing. Like when people are actually bringing drinks and food to the table. No, it's been a long time. I think maybe only solo stuff where I played like solo classical music, in which case no one, no one cares that you're there anyways. But it's, it's really odd to, to, to give a show and have wait staff bringing, you know, getting orders for food and drink and then bringing orders for food and drink. Comedians know way more about this. And you kind of 
play around with the timing. Well, as a comedian, you can actually, you know, put some fillers in there. You know, you know, you know. Words like that that don't mean anything. You know, and, uh, and you know, and you can stretch things out to trying to give uh, servers and wait staff. Um, well, they're going to do their job regardless, but you're trying to not deliver a great joke or great material while the audience is distracted with paying a bill, putting in an order, or receiving their food. It's just something I completely forgot about until I saw this. Because, you know, most play, you know, that's just a verbal hiccup at that point. I'm not trying to take time up. I'm just verbally diarying on myself. But typically in a town like I'm in, it's only drinks and no one's bringing drinks out to you. You're going to get the drinks. So basically everyone in the crowd is either talking to each other or on their phone or watching the show. But the people that want drinks have already recused themselves to the bar area. It's really interesting to me, the dynamics of live performance from the audience to the band members. It's just, it's odd. It is the best thing ever. I, I will still say playing on stage is my favorite feeling. It's, it's better. It's better than sex. It's better than drugs. It's close. It's close. A bad show, you would always take drugs and sex over a bad show. But a good show? <sighs> sex and drugs. <laughs> the chasing hard behind a good show.